أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء المرسلين محمد وأهل بيت الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين واللعنة على أعدائهم من الآن إلى يوم الدين أما بعد فقد قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه المجيد والفركان الحميد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ربي زدني إلما صدق الله العلي العظيم Right, before, first of all, Eid Mubarak to everyone, inshallah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your ibadat, your fasting, your Quran recitation and all of your other du'as which you have made in the month of Shah Ramadan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hasten the coming of Imam Zamanna of Jalla wa ta'ala who faraj al-Sharif. So where were we before the break which we took? So I believe we were on lesson number... <coughs> <clears throat> six is that correct is this correct we on lesson number six alaykum, Sheikh. Alaykum, um just checking uh and samples that first Sorry, I'm looking at my notes and I have the date, but I do. So the last one, it says, Yaktubu um, Yadorosu. So yeah, that, that, that was the verbs which we did for the 30th juz of the Quran. So that's correct. That, that was the present tense verbs which are taught everyone. That's correct. Great. Uh, lesson four. One lesson behind that. Five. Yes, we were on six. That's right. That was, um, yes. The demonstrative pronoun female, yep. her, the he. Yep. Right. So we actually did this lesson. We actually completed this lesson. Do you remember that or no? Um, I my notes only go up to page forty six. That's right. Um, yeah, so I right. don't think we completed it. Otherwise, I would have written. That's right. We were uh, actually forty six itself. We just finished this itself. Yeah. I can remember yep. that. Yeah, I remember that. It's okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Um, so what I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask Sister Shalina. Um, can you come on the mic? Sure. Um, so this lesson, the, so there are the demonstrative pronoun hadha is for the masculine, and hadhi is when you're referring to a either a female, or either you're referring to a feminine noun. So, for example, um, the word Sayyaratun has a time marbuta at the end. So, we ask the question, Liman hadhi sayyaratu? For whom is this car? So, because it being car being feminine, so we add hadhi. So, can you kindly start from the beginning and let's go through this lesson. Bismillah. <laughs> This is Hamid's son, and this is Yasir's daughter. Excellent. Ibn Hamid in Jalisun, wa bintu Yasirin waqifatu. Tun. Waqifatun, correct. Um, Hamid's son is sitting, and Yasir's daughter is standing. Excellent. Man hadihi, who is this? Hadihi ukhtul. Muhandisi uh, is the sister of the engineer. Correct. Bahia Aylan Muhandisatu Muhandisatun Muhandisatun. Um, is this? No, is she? Oh, is she? What's Aylan? Or Aylan means also. Is she also an engineer? Correct. Lahia Tabibatun. No, she is a doctor. Excellent. Liman hadi his sayyaratu. To whom does this car belong? To whom? Yeah, to whom does this car belong? Hadi his sayyaratu al mudiri. This car belongs to a um, mudir. Um, manager. The manager. Ma hadi he, what is this? Hadi he mikwatun. It is an iron. Excellent. Liman uh, hadihi, and what is what? It, no, 
Liman Hadihi, to whom does this belong? Hadihi li Khalidin. It belongs to Khalid. Adarajatu Anasin Hadihi. Um, is this bicycle? Is this, uh, sorry, is this Anas's bicycle? Correct. La Hadihi Darajatu Amarin. No, this bicycle is Amar's. Hadihi Jadida Tun. Um, it is Jadid is um, new. new. Correct. What the Raja to Anasin Kadimatun and the bicycle Anas's bicycle is old. Correct. Hadi he Saatun Ali Hadi Saatun Ali. This is um, Ali. Watch. Watch. He a Jamila Tun Jidda. It is very um, beautiful. Correct. Hadi he Mil Akatun, Wahadi he Kidrun. Um, this this is a spoon this is a spoon and, and this is a pot and this is a pot al mil akatu filakidri um and the spoon is in the pot okay and the spoon is in the pot hadi hadi bakaratul falahi this cow is this is the farmer's cow at the anfun wahada famun this is a nose and this is a mouth. Correct. Hadi. So, so over here, so these words at the bottom, mm -hmm. Udunun, a, Udunun means eye, um, uh, ears, Ainun means eye, Yadun means hand, Rijulun means leg. So because they are, uh, these limbs are in pairs, they are treated as feminine, and that's the reason why Hadhi is being used with them. Okay. And if, so if it's singular, is it still masculine? It, then it's masculine. Yeah. Okay. Hadihi Udunun wa Hadihi Ainun. This is these the these are my ear. So would you say these this are, is these? Yeah, these are ears and these, these are, are ears and these are eyes. Wahadihi Yadun, Wahadihi Rijdun, and these are um hands and these are legs. Excellent. Okay, Jazakallah. Let me bring Sister Zahra Rizvi. Yes, Sheikh. Can you kindly read, read and write and translate them as well? Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hada masjidun wa hada madrasatun. We're not reading the Quran here. We know the izhar or ikhbar. Yeah. Okay. Hada masjidun wa hada madrasatun. Correct. Um, so this is a mosque, and uh, no. This is a mosque. This yeah. is all over there. No, this is. Yeah. This is a mosque and this is a school. Correct. Man hadihi. Who is this? Hadihi Uhtu Abbasin. This is Abbas's sister. Correct. Hada Dikun wa hadihi Dajajatun. This is a rooster and this is a hen. Correct. Hada binul mudiri wa hadihi bintul mudarisi. This is the manager's son. And this is the teacher's daughter. Correct. Hadihi Umu Yasirin. This is Yasir's mother. Aina Qidrul Lahmi. Where is the meat pot? The meat pot. Okay. Here Fithala Here It is in the cupboard. Not in the cupboard, in the fridge. Oh fridge. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, this is a door and this is a window? Correct. Okay. Jazakallah. Can I have next on the mic, Sister Mehreen Jafri? Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. So what I want you to do here, it says read the example and make sentences on this pattern. So what you'll see here, over here you have the masculine um, sentences of subject and predicate like Muhammadun. Talibun. Muhammad is a student. So to make it feminine, you will need to add a timer but at the end. So Aminatu Talibatun. So we add the timer buta and the letter before the timer buta, um, if it it will have either a fatha, as you will see this one in the next one, inshallah. Go ahead. Muhammadun Talibun. Muhammad is a student. Mm -hmm. Amin. Uh, am I correct? Correct. That's correct. Okay. Amina to talibatun. Amina is is a student. 
Hamidun Tabibun. Hamid is a doctor. Fatima to Tabibatun. Fatima is a doctor. Huwa Muslimun. He is Muslim. Hiya Muslimatun. She is a Muslim. Albabu Muglakun. The door is, I don't know the meaning of, is closed. The door is closed. Anna Fidatu Muglakatun. Moghlakatun, correct. Moghlakatun. And the window is closed. Excellent. Al Mandilo Wasihun. And the handkerchief is clean. No, Wasihun means dirty. Is dirty, sorry. Al Mandilo Wasihun. And the handkerchief is dirty. Al Yado Wasihatun. And the hand is dirty. Correct. Next, please. Ashayo Harun. The tea is cold. Not hard. I, I, I would love to see yourself have a shy hard and say his tea is cold. And you and Mother Allah should say, but you will burn your mouth with that tea. <laughs> <laughs> Harun means hot. Sorry. Uh, Harun no. means hot and, and Baridun means cold. Exactly. Exactly. So I need to revise. Uh, so a shy Harun. And um, the, the tea is hot. Al Kahwato. Baridun, the it's again tea or is green tea? Uh, kahwa is coffee. Coffee, okay. Yeah. So um, um, the coffee is cold. Shall I use the same? Um, uh, like you, you, shall you I? Could, you could use haratun or you could say baridatun. I'm happy with that as well. Okay, harat haratun. Mm -hmm. yep. That's correct. Okay, haratun. Al masjidu baidun. The the mosque is far. Al Madrasatu Baidatun. The school is far. A Talibu Marizun. The the student is sick mm -hmm. or the student is patient. A Talibatu Marizatun. The student is sick. Al Hisanu Sariun. Um and the horse. Yep. The horse uh, is uh, Wait, fast. Yep, is fast. it? Sorry. The horse is fast. Asayarato Sariatun. And the car is um, is fast. Correct. Al Kamaru Jamilun. The moon is beautiful. Ashamsu Jamilatun. The sun is beautiful. Um, Al Abu Jalisun. Um, father is sitting. Correct. Um, Al Al Ummo Jalisatun. Um, mother is um, is sitting. Exact, excellent. Now I want to show you something which I didn't mention when everyone was Sister Shalina was reading, but I need to highlight this point now. Now, remember, like in the lesson number one, we said Hada Kitabun. Do you remember that? Hada Kitabun. Everyone remember this? Yes. Hada Babun. Hada Masjidun. Does everyone remember that lesson? Lesson one. Yes. Yes. In that lesson itself, we had Hada Mindilun, Hada Masjidun. This type of sentence is called a, sen a nominal sentence. And a nominal sentence has two parts. It has a subject and a predicate. Do you remember that? In the term in Arabic, it's called Mubtada and Khabar. It's called Mubtada and Khabar. Okay. And the other... <clears throat> thing we learned in lesson number two three I think it was we learned also um, but let me go back to the example Hada Masjidun so you see Hada is coming and the second now Masjidun it has a Dhamma Tanween Masjidun so normally the subject can either be a demonstrative pronoun Hada Dhalika or a pronoun itself like Hua Hia or it could be a proper noun like Al Kitabu Jamilun. So Al Kitabu has Alif Lam. Because it has Alif Lam, it makes the noun a proper noun, a definite noun. It's not an indefinite noun. So it's a definite noun, the book, a particular book. Al Kitabu Jamilun. The book is beautiful. Okay, is this clear so far? Yes. Now, over here now, now this is a, the, the next phase. We are seeing here now, Ibn Hamidin. Ibn Hamidin. What type of relationship is here? Ibn Hamidin. 
the son of Hamid or yeah son of Hamid and what do we call in Arabic this was lesson number five we talked about oh okay okay the relationship um I yep. what's it called is it mudaf is that mudaf yeah. and mudafile yeah mudaf mudafile possessed and the possessor so Ibn son of Hamid so Ibn is possessed by who Hamid's father See, because son is always possessed by the father, Ibn Hamid. So, mudaf, mudaf, ilay. Okay. So, here, two nouns together. So, like hadha kitabun, these are two separate nouns. Separate nouns, individual nouns. Hadha kitabun, subject and predicate. But over here now, Ibn Hamidin, it's two nouns together. Ibn Hamidin, two nouns, mudaf and mudaf, ilay son of Hamid or Hamid's son is coming as a subject is this clear so the mudaf mudaf ilay is coming as a subject and jalisun is coming as the khabar it's coming as the predicate is this clear yes is there a different name for this type of sentence or... so this is called mudaf, this ibn Ibn Hamid is called Mudaf Mudaf Ilay and it's called so it's called the subject. So there's different types of um, subjects you can have. You can either have one noun like Al Kitabu or you can have Huwa, you can have Hadha, or you can have Ibn Hamid Mudaf Mudaf Ilay. Okay, and so it's, it's a still, subject. Sorry, it's still a nominal sentence then? Yes, it's still a nominal sentence. Okay, thanks. Okay. Yeah, so it's still a nominal sentence, but it's different types and categories of what is entitled and what is able to become the subject itself. But you will always see that the subject, the predicate, always is indefinite, like here as well. Jalisun. It's not al jalisun, but jalisun. And even over here. Now, the other thing I need to mention here, whenever you can write this down if you want to. Whenever you have mudaf mudaf ilay as a subject, whenever you have mudaf mudaf ilay as a subject, the mudaf itself, this word here, ibn Hamidin, the ibn itself will govern, will govern whether the khabar, the predicate, will be masculine or female this doesn't make sense so if the word mudaf was masculine then the khabar would be masculine if the mudaf was female then the khabar will be also female female example give me show me some examples in this text please sister um farwa jafri assalamualaikum Or Sister Shalina Zahra or Mehreen? Wa alaikum assalam. I think uh, maybe this one here and Muhandisatun. So, but here, that's not Muzaf and Muzaf No, look at this one. Bintu Yasirin. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, yeah, so Bintu is a daughter, and then Waqifatun is also with a timer buta. So. Exactly. Exactly. And also, if you look at um, next page, let me show you here. Yeah, that, that's the only two examples there over there. So you just need to remember that whenever the mudaf itself is masculine, the khabar itself will become masculine. And if the mudaf is feminine, the khabar will be also masculine itself. So the reason why I did this is over here now. Um, so. So, Ukhtu uh, Abbas, although this doesn't start with the. Uh, which one? Um, Which one? Uh, Abbasin uh, is no, but that's where is it? Where is it? I can't find it. Where is it? it's uh, the um, previous speech, not here. Uh, and uh, no, uh, further back. But the sentence doesn't start with a muzaf and muzafile. Uh, let, let me show, show me to me. Now. It's the right next to the fridge. It's the number four. So here, Has Ibn al so, so what's okay? Let me explain. 
Hadha ibn al-Mudiri. So Hadha is coming as the subject. Ibn al-Mudiri is mudaf, mudaf ilay. Yeah. And it's coming as the khabar. So here, Hadhihi is, refer, is the subject. Bintu al-Mudarrisi. So Hadha, remember as Hadha and Hadhi always follows. Um, the actual noun who is deferring if it's a masculine noun is talking about it will be hada if it's referring to a female noun then it'll be hadhi so hada is the subject bintul mudarrisi is mudaf mudaf ilay but is coming as the khabar itself okay so the reason why i asked this question is over here now it says as you're going to do this itself hakiba so it's correct the following sentences so here it says Hakibutu man. Whose bag? So Who's there's a mistake. Yes, yes. That, yeah. So Hadha should be Hazihi. Exactly. Okay. So yes. Hakiba who Hakibatu man is mudaf mudaf ilay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And Hadihi is khabar. So the khabar should always follow the Hakiba. Hakiba is feminine. Right. Perfect. Thank you for explaining that. So, Hakibatu man hadihi. Yes. Even though, even though man, it's a, man, you, you may remember in lesson number five, it mentioned the word man, it's an indeclinable noun. When it, mean, when it talks about indeclinable noun, it means that it does not change. It does not get a fata tanween or a kasra tanween or any tanween, but it takes the position of mudaf or mudaf ilay, but the harakat are not visible. So Hakibatu man is mudaf mudaf ilay, and this should be hadhi itself. Okay. Okay. Next one, number two. Um, al ghurfatu maftuhun. So, uh, um, so the room is open. Is so open. If she, so it should be maftuhatun. Correct. Al so ghurfatu. Yeah, always, always the khabar itself follows the, the actual subject in gender itself. Okay. Um, and then the next one is Haza Sayara Tu Tabi B. And because the car is uh, feminine, so it should be, uh, no, no, uh, so it should be Hazihi. Correct. Hazihi Sayara Tu Tabi B. And Excellent. Uh, it's the doctor's car. Hazihi uh, Miftahu Sayarati. Correct. And uh, because. Miftah is masculine. Yes, um, but uh, Hazihi and Sayarati are both uh, feminine. No, no, no. The say the car is feminine, but yes. the mudaf itself is masculine. So the mudaf itself should be feminine as well. No, no, no. That's you can have this. You can have, you, for example, a woman can own a car and a, a male can own a car. So yes. that makes no difference. But the thing is, the mudaf itself the is key. masculine. Yeah. So. I would have thought that this is all right because this yeah. is um, the car's key, and uh, it is the key itself. The key itself is masculine. So the key needs to be feminine as well. No, if the key remains feminine, it makes no difference. You can have a key itself feminine. Um, so you will say hada miftahu sayarati. Okay. So okay. So. Uh, the muzaf determines the gender exactly of the khabar but right now uh, muzaf and muzaf is the khabar right so here so there's two things one is that the mudaf, when the mudaf mudaf ilay mm -hmm. um, comes as the as the subject yes the mudaf itself will govern the gender of the khabar okay yes however whenever you are talking about a masculine or a female now, mm -hmm. then hadha and hadhihi will be according to the noun itself, which you're talking about. So, so yes. here we're talking about the key, not the car itself. So we're saying that this key uh, belongs to a feminine driver? No, it makes no difference. It's always the first noun itself, which will govern whether we use hadha or hadhi. Mifta itself is masculine, so we okay. use hadha itself. All right, all right. Okay. So it should be haza mifta sayyarati. Correct. And the next one? 
Ainal Bakaratu Hua Fishari. Where is the cow? It is on the street. In the street. Uh, in the street. Um, Bakaratu is it masculine or female? It's a female. So should it be Hua or Hia? Oh, Hia, Hia, Hia. Hia Fishari. Next one, next one, two, three, and four. Okay, Haza li Muhammad wa dhalika li Hamid. This is for Muhammad and that is for Hamid. Mm -hmm. uh, so everything, read, vocalizing the last letter uh, of all the nouns. Yep. So is that all right? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Next okay. one. Liman hazihi hazihi li Yasir. Who is this for? Correct. And this is for Yasir? Correct. So, is Hazihi all right over here? Yep. yep. Liman Hazihi is referring to a female thing which we don't know. So okay. Hazihi okay. Yasin is perfectly fine. Okay. okay. Alhamdulillah. Correct. All praise to Allah. Lillahi al Mashriqi wal Maghribi for Allah is the East and the West. Correct. Um, and uh, I think that looks all right. Al, al, in the new words, Al Kalimatul Jadidatu. Al Kalimatu Jadidatu. I don't know what this one is. Al Mikwa. Iron. 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 Okay, iron. Al Bakaratu, a cow. Al Uznu, ears. Al Ummu, mother. Al Nafidatu, window. Darajatu, Ad Darajatu. Ad Darajatu. Bicycle. Bicycle. Al Falahu. Farmer. A farmer, okay. I would have thought a fisherman for some reason. Al Yaddu hands. As Salajatu. I think we did it in the fridge, yes. And Jidda means an ancestor. No, Jiddan. No, New? Yeah, Jiddan means very. Very. Yeah, like Jiddan. Jamilun Jiddan. Very beautiful. Okay. And Al Mil. Aqatu is spoon. Spoon. Uh, spoon. Uh, you re you're reading like Iranian, a spoon. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Al Anfu is um, nose. Nose. Uh, the nose. Al Rujulu. Al Rajulu means the feet. Al Kahwatu means the Rajulu. Al Rajulu means the leg. Al Rajulu. Oh, so Al Rajulu means the man. A rajalo means the man and a rajalo means the leg. Okay, it's um al kahwa al kahwa too means coffee. Yep. Al qidru means the pot. Yep. Al famu means the mouth. Al shai means the tea. Yep. And al sari'o means fast. Sari'o means fast or quick. Brilliant. Okay, that's fine. Let's can I ask who shall I ask? Um, Sister Mehreen Jafri. Yes. Points to remember, please. Points to remember. In this lesson, we learn Hazihi, which is the feminine of Haza. Mm -hmm. It is pronounced Hazihi, but the alif is omitted in writing. This is a boy and this is a girl. Haza waladun wa Hazihi bintun. Nouns and adjectives are made feminine by adding uh, ta at the end. Um, the last letter before this ta takes uh, a fatha. Mudarasatun, mudarasun. Mm -hmm. uh, some nouns have a separate form of uh, for feminine. For example, son, ebnun, daughter, bintun, uh, ahun, brother, uhtun, sister. All nouns in Arabic are either masculine or feminine. Feminine nouns and adjectives usually have a the ending, but there are some words which do not have this ending. Students, when learning a new noun, must learn its gender also. Double members of the body um, are usually feminine, while single members are masculine. For example, That's masculine... We know, we know that. That's okay. Let's do number three. And four and finishes off. Number three, uh, li is a preposition meaning belongs to. For for example, haza li Bilalin wazalika li Hamidin. This belongs to Bilal and that belongs to Hamid. 
Alhamdulillah, praise belongs to Allah. Note that the word Allah becomes Lillahi, belonging to Allah, by just dropping the alif. No, I'm uh, sorry, what's that? No, no, no lam need to be added. Lam. Okay, no lam need to be added to the word. Liman means whose or belonging to whom. For example, Liman Haza, whose is this? Whom does this belong to? Limanil kitabu, whose is the book? Note that man becomes man, money. Shall I say that money? money yep. Uh, when followed by alif lam al. Number so four. If you look over here, laman lama limanil limanil kitabu. So when you yes. join it, 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 you put a kasra on the noon to join it on itself. That's what we're trying to say. That's it. Nothing else. Okay. Uh, number number four, Aizen means also, for mm. example, Haza Jamilun. This is beautiful. Vazalika Aizen Jamilun. And that is also beautiful. Mm -hmm. Jiddan means very, for example, Haza Kabirun Jiddan. Excellent. This is very big. Excellent. Okay, now I'm going to start lesson number seven because lesson number seven is very short. Um, but before I start lesson number seven, <clears throat> Uh, I just wanted the points to remember so that it's crystal clear. Sister Shalina, can you come on the mic, please? Yes. Al let's read Al Kalimatul Jadidatu first. Okay. Um, al Mumarridatu. That means a nurse. Okay. Al Hadiqatu. Garden. Al Battatu. Duck. Al Muadhinu. Means the person calls a prayer. Al-Naqatu. That's a female camel. al -baydatu. That means an egg. Okay. Then what we're going to learn over here now, it's that we are going to learn the demonstrative pronouns. Um, so the Hadha and Hadihi, one is for masculine and one is for female. But when you're referring to something which is further away, like we say in the Quran, Thalik al-Kitabu. So Thalik al-Kitabu means that book meaning the Quran itself. So when it's something further away, we say that. So when it's a masculine thing you're referring to, you say Dalika. And when you're referring to a female thing, you will say Tilka. Is that clear? Yeah. Points to remember, go ahead. In this lesson, we learn Tilka, which is the feminine of Dalika, that. Uh, example, Hadha Bilalun wa Dalika Hamidun. This is Bilal and that is Hamid. Hadhihi Aminatu Watilka Mariamu. This is Amina and that is Mariam. Okay, we've done this vocab already. So let's go through the lesson. Okay, um, I'll read the lesson and then you can read the lesson after me. Is that okay? Okay. Man hadihi. Bismillah. Man hadihi. Man hadihi. Who is this? Do you just want me to repeat after you, yeah? Yes, please. Okay, who is this? Hadihi Aminatu. Hadihi Aminatu. This is Amina. This is Amina. Woman Tilka, and who is that? Woman Tilka, and who is that? Tilka Fatimatu. Tilka Fatimatu. That is Fatima. That is Fatima. Hadihi Tabibatun, wa Tilka Mumarridatun. This is a female doctor, and that is a female nurse. Hadihi Tabibatun, wa Tilka Mumarridatun. This so you is female doctor and that is a female nurse. Yeah, so you will see here, Hadhi Tabibatun Tilka Mumaridatun. It's follow the same genders itself. So if the gender of the person you're referring to is feminine, then we use Tilka for someone which is further away. And someone who's close, you see Hadhi. Okay. Excellent. Hadhi min al Hindi wa Tilka min al Yabani. This is from India and that is from Japan. Hadihi min al Hindi wa tilka min al Yabani. This is from India and that is from Japan. Excellent. Hadihi tawilatun wa tilka qasiratun. This is something long and that is something short. Hadihi tawilatun wa tilka qasiratun. This is long and that is short. Excellent. Man hadha? Hadha Hamidun. Who is this? This is Hamid. Man hadha? Hadha Hamidun. Who is this? This is Hamid. Excellent. 
Man dhalika? Who is that? Dhalika Aliyun. That is Ali. Woman dhalika? And who is that? Dhalika Aliyun. That is Ali. Excellent. Atilka Dajajatun? Is that a hen? La Tilka Battatun. No, that is a duck. Atilka Dajajatun? Is that a hen? La Tilka Battatun. No, that is a duck. Excellent. Any question from anyone? No. Brilliant. Okay, that's fine. Now, I'm going to ask Sister Zahra Rizvi to come on the mic. Yep. Can you read from your Matilka? Matilka, what is that? Tilka Bayodotun. That is an egg. Hadihi Sayaratul Mudarisi, Watilka Sayaratul Mudiri. This is the teacher's car, and that is the Mudir manager. Manager's car, yeah. Manager's car. Asaatu Abbasin Hadihi. Is this watch Abbas's? La. Hadihi Saatu Hamidin. Tilka Saatu Abbasin. No, this is Hamid's watch. That is Abbas's watch. Dalika Dikun wa Tilka Dajajatun. This is a. Not that. Sorry, that is a. Dik is. Rooster. And. Ah, that is a tilka. So that is a rooster, and this and that is a hen. Excellent. I want you to read one to four. Uh, how many there? There's seven there. Eight there. Seven there. So I want you to read one to four, and then I'll get Sister Farwa to read the remaining. Okay. Go ahead. wa tilka jamiatun. This is a teacher, and that yeah. is. This is a school. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is a school, and that is a university. Adalika Masjidun, is this a mosque? La, Tilka Madurasatun. No, that is a school. Hadihi Mudarisatun, Watilka Talibatun. This is a teacher and that is a student. Hada Baitul Muaddini, Watilka Hadiratu Tajiri. This is the house of the Mazin and that is that is the um, merchant's shop. Oh, sorry, uh, the um, merchant's Garden. Excellent. Sister Farwa Jafri, any questions before I get Sister Farwa on the mic? No. No. Okay. Sorry. Sister Farwa, can you read? Um, sure. Oh, <clears throat> you uh, if... These ones here. She did it in the wrong order, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> that's all right. Oh, okay. sorry. <laughs> yeah, I just realized. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, that's, wrong. that's true. That's sorry. We all get nervous on the mic. Zalika Himarun Watilka Bakarotun. This is a donkey and that is a cow. No, that is a donkey and that. Sorry, is a... that is a, a donkey and that female thing is a cow. <laughs> female thing. <laughs> I mean, what I meant to say is um, <laughs> uh, that for a feminine. Yeah. Um, it has a jamalun watilka nakotun. That is a camel and no, that is a female no, camel. This, no, this is a male camel and that is a female camel. That is a male camel, and that, and that is a female camel. Yeah, wa Surah Shams. Yeah, and Prophet Sawley's Naqat. Yep. Has a kalbun wa dalika qitun. That is a dog, and that is a cat. Hada. That is has a this 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 is a dog, and that is a cat. Sorry. That's fine. Okay, now I want yourself to do one, two, um, I'm here there, uh, 15, okay. I want you to do one to five. Okay, okay, okay. So you need to use either hadha or hadhihi. Has, hazihi umman, this okay. is a mother or... Um, this is a mother. Hadha abun, mm -hmm. this is a father. Hadha qalmun, hazihi mil'aqat. Correct. Um, has a ainun? Hazi. Hazi. Ainun. Oh, yeah, yeah. These are two eyes, right? Hazi ainun. Excellent. Next person and... will be Sister Jazakallah. Mehreen Jafri. Can you do six to ten? Yes. Haza Hajarun. Um, that is, this is Hajar. I forgot what is Hajar. A stone? <clears throat> Your stone or rock? Rock, yes. Rock uh, or stone. 
Haza Kamisun, this is a shirt. Haza Haza Kidrun. Hazihi. Sorry. Haza Kidrun. Hazihi. Correct. Uh, I forgot the meaning of Kidrun. Hot. Hot. Okay. Hazihi na fitatun. This is a window. This is a window. Number and two. um uh hazihi bakaratun and this is a cow. Excellent sister Shanina. Okay. Um Hada Maktabun, this is the desk. Hadihi Nakatun, this is a cam a female camel. Hada Muhandisun, this is an engineer. Uh Hada Muadhinun, this is a muazin. Hadihi Mumaridatun, this is a nurse. Excellent. Sister Zahra Rizvi. Hada Sirirun. I've forgotten Sirir. Bed. That's a bed. Ah. Hada, this is a bed. Hadihi Hadiqatun. This is a purse. Garden. Oh, garden, sorry. Garden, yeah. Garden. Hadihi Talibatun. This is a female student. Hada Jamalun. This is um, a camel. Mm -hmm. Hadihi Bittatun. This is a duck. Excellent. Now, Dhalika and Tilka. That's the next exercise, um, which they haven't got. Okay, that's fine. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad wa ajil fajr. Right. Um, Sister Shalina, you got a lesson at nine o'clock? Uh, actually, it's after Salah, so I'm okay. <laughs> so, what, by the way, what do you teach? Because I know. I, 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 no, no. This, this is just a tafsir class I'm doing. It's not, I'm not teaching it. I'm you, learning. You, 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 you participate in a tafsir class? Yeah, yeah. Good surah. Uh, today she's doing Naba. Is it Sister Muhaddisa? No, it's actually Mahmoud Jafar. Mullah's sister, uh, not Mu brother Mustafa Jafar. Daughter in law. Daughter in law. I I was doing that class as well. I did it at uh, four p.m. Oh, I see. I can't because the kids are around. But um, this is Abbas Jafar's wife, the Sheikh Abbas Jafar. Sheikh Abbas Jafar. So she's Mullah's um daughter in law. No, 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 no. Masuma Jafar. Yeah, Masuma Jafar. Yes. Okay, Dr. Masuma Jafar. Yeah. That's right. I know her very well. <laughs> um, I used to teach her in the Hausa in London. Ah. Okay. So, yeah. So, okay, you're talking about Jafar's. Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. Brilliant. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do lesson number eight. The reason why I'm not going to do lesson number eight, because it'll be too overwhelming, because you're doing two, six, and seven. Uh, I know this lesson itself is short, but the exercise on this lesson is a bit long. So for this reason, I'm not going to do it uh, because you've got only 10 minutes left. So inshallah, um, I'll do this lesson next week with yourselves. Is that okay with you? Yes, I think that's Yes. Good. So, but in the meantime, I need you to uh, write the lessons out um, and just r learn them properly so that we don't have any confusions. Because when you only got about three lessons left um, and then we'll start book two. Um, but I need everyone to be on top of everything so that everything is clear for everyone, inshallah. Okay. Um, Allahu salawat Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allahumma kulli waliyik al hujjat min al hasan salawatuka alayhi wa ala abaih. Fi hadhi al saati wa fi kulli saa waliyan wa hafidan wa qaidan wa nasira wa dalilan wa aina hatta tuskina hu arvaka tu awa tumati aw fiha tawila wa jalla min ansarhi wa shiyatik wa jundik bi rahmatik ya arham al rahimin. اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وأجل فرجهم. so التماس دعاء. any questions before we end? I have an unrelated question if you don't mind. I'm just you know.